there's a exchange of, of belief, right? That, that we have. And so for me, my exchange of belief is I think diagnosis um, and, and early diagnosis is a single most important thing to any health, any health pack. Absolutely. And, and, and so for me, that's where I was very attracted to what he's doing. Now, his company, right, Vironix, is, sounds like we might be talking about viruses, right? Um, especially in a post-COVID world, and that's not what we're talking about. Um, so why don't you kind of give him a 411 on, on, on exactly what, what, you know, how your, 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 your product works, right? And, and how it, how it diagnoses, right? And a lot of our people are investors, but I'm, and they're looking at investments, but I'm sure some of them are absolutely in the need, in the need too, right? Um, for preventative and, and for advanced, advanced notification and advanced warning when they're having health, health issues. So fire away, brother. Yeah, and, and your interest also, Dutch, in homeopathy and some of these wellness tools, it, it fits right in the theme of preventative care, which is what we do. We build AI preventative uh, healthcare technology. Um, the vast majority of spending and death in the healthcare system is consumed when people are already sick. They're well past the tipping point, uh, and we're spending a lot of money almost making death tolerable. You know, whereas all the action is really in... Uh, identifying illness, particularly severe illness, in its early stages. And if you get it in its early stages, it's not magic. We're not predicting, uh, you know, that you're going to get cancer 15 years from now. This is not what we do. We build very sophisticated um, API technology that interprets health information of people at home. As an example, let's say you're a, a heart failure patient. Um, you may have fluid accumulating in different parts of your body as you progress in your illness. It's a common feature of congestive heart failure. Uh, you may have shortness of breath at times. Right, you may be on, eating. Hold on, hold on. So I got yeah, a way yeah. to give this explanation <laughs> to people. Like it just fired in my brain. So you t have you ever watched the show Billions? Uh, I have not. I probably should though, huh? So, we're, we're, so it's a TV show where, where they're, in, they, they're in raising capital, right? And they're investing into different businesses. Now, this isn't the use of your product, but so they gave every one of their uh, team, right, a ring, right? And the ring was yep. doing health monitoring on them. And in the, in the show, one of them had a heart attack while having sex, but that's not necessarily, you know, <laughs> the point, but, but he has having a heart attack. And, and so like, the, the, but they didn't tell them they were monitoring their health. And so the two, two, the two guys at the top were trying to debate, you know, like for half a second, they're like, well, what do we do? Do we just, you know, let him have a heart attack? Do we not let him have a heart attack? What do and so, you know, obviously they called the ambulance. And so, you know, he's, you know, doing his thing. Right. And then suddenly the, the EMT shows up at his door and he's like, they're like, you're in the middle of having a heart attack. And he's like, yeah, Jeez. I think my, maybe I am. Right. Um, and cause it's lots terrifying. of times people don't, they're right. so, we're so numb as people. We don't actually know what's going on with ourselves um, physically. So I, we're going to, I'm going to get my guys to find that clip and we'll, we'll, have, it, <laughs> we'll have it cut in the description for, for this, uh, just as a, as a fun, fun sign up, but go ahead, keep going doc. So, well, well, Dutch, imagine that example, right? But imagine I told you that let's say an hour before that, that guy had his heart attack, that there's things going down even better. Okay. There's, there's oxygen, um, in his blood, and there's, it's supposed to be at saturation between 98 and 100%, and it's slowly diminishing. And why? Because air is not getting through, dissolved in the blood and circulating properly. It could be due to a number of things, by the way, in your body. Now, if I told you that I could track their oxygen saturation and the rate of their heart rate um, and even their lung function with spirometers in real time, and then I also told you I could figure out just by asking that person, are you feeling a little more short of breath than usual? Are you using your diuretics or your inhalers more than usual? Okay. Maybe I also knew that there's a little more pollution in the room because there's public APIs that tell you what the particulate air content is. Okay. Now, the truth is a lot of this data that I'm talking about can be modeled in real time with a mix of traditional mathematics and AI. And it can be used to risk stratify this guy so, so that instead like, of waiting. Sorry. If people are like living in a place where there's mold. Right. And I, I just say yep. this because because I've seen it actually even in my, my own house, we just replaced our, our duct work. And, and um, I think it's our condenser. Right. With our AC because it was completely covered in mold. And, and, and we finally, you know, we saw it in one of the vents and I'm like, I had the guys come in and 
replace it and stuff, but I actually have two or three employees um, in the last six months that have, have got had major health issues and and they uncovered there was like there was some pretty serious mold stuff in their living situation, right? So is that yeah. something you would you would designate you would like see in their 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 blood or their oxygen? Well, actually, there's so if you look at your air report, in fact, uh, you can actually just go on your Apple phone and scroll over to the left on most of your weather reports. It says the concentration of allergens in the air in your zip code. Now, it may not be as refined as getting it down to let's say a few feet away from you, but the mold content in air is actually tracked. Mm -hmm. along with things like uh, the amount of oak in, in the air, which is a big thing in Austin, particulate matter of different sizes. What is and oak, so particularly what is for an asthmatic. Air, what does oak in the air do? It's just another allergen. So oh, okay. if you look yeah, at so things just... that cause different triggers in people, like some people have no problem with mold, but they have problem with other things, right? Pollen in particular. And so for someone like with a reactive airway illness, like asthma, uh, maybe a lot of things don't matter, like, they don't have fluid accumulation or cholesterol or, or sodium problems, but if there's some pollen in the air, it's going to cause them to go crazy, right? And so the key is to understanding that there's actually a lot of data that's available to people at home, tons of data. And with the right technology, you can interpret that data in real time and help people to get ahead of devastating illness. 